will bet that you didn't think that this Alfley Aura video was coming. The reason I say that is because Halloween, I was posting all my Halloween pictures and all I'm getting are DMs with gals saying, all right, cute, yeah, that's cool and all, but like, where's the Alfley Aura review? Where are the turtles? Where are they? I mean, I'm pretty sure that they've been live for about a week now and I'm only getting to review it because I was waiting on quite a few pieces. I was missing shrugs, dark colors, because I wanted to test squat proof and different shades. So I do apologize for this being up so late, but better late than never, okay? The train might have already left the station, but it's still on the tracks, right? They're still stuck in this collection is what I mean. Okay, so what are we looking at with this new Aura collection? Alphalete came out with a brand new collection, which is not often. They didn't give us anything all summer long, except for a few tank tops. And now they're just hammering us with new releases. I'm not complaining because we were waiting for you, Alphalete. We were waiting. So Alphalete did a 180 with this collection. We're all used to these seamless amplifies and everything of the such. Now we're looking at the opposite of that. We're looking at a completely different material. We're looking at non-seamless pieces. So I'm specifically wearing the bandeau and the shrug, just so you guys can get a glimpse of how it holds up throughout the video as I'm moving my arms around. If there's a nip slip, don't judge. <laughs> Sneak peek, five minutes in, I'm already adjusting myself just a little bit. Now in this collection, we are looking at the color scheme that pretty much launched last launch. You remember my last video, the Amplify 2.0 Contour. That entire color palette, you know, sand, cashmere, that pretty much dropped in this collection, minus maybe a couple colors. Now, these colors are not identical to the Amplify 2.0 Contour colors. The shades vary because they're different materials. Let's talk material first and foremost. Yes, this material definitely is brushed and buttery soft. Not silky, it's not a silky slippery feel. First and foremost, this is very, very low to moderate support. This waistband is low to moderate compression. Compared to the Amplify, I love this waistband so much more. I wish they could have this type of compression on Amplify and then I'd be like, all about it. So you're either gonna love or hate that, but me personally, the lower the compression, the better. Because of this really soft material, number one, not cellulite concealing. Number two, I was rubbing weights up against this legging, particularly, ugh, particularly in the color sand, and it was fine. I was doing step ups and I was actually on purpose hitting the dumbbell up against my leg, and I was like, okay, surprise, surprise, it held up just fine. However, when I was doing hip thrusts, something somewhere nicked up my leggings. It started to Hill, right at the hips. Now, I do believe that the Velcro hit into the legging a little bit. So out of the gate, keep that in mind. If you have anything Velcro near this, you're gonna experience some of this pilling right here. So if you have Velcro ankle straps, if you have wrist straps that have Velcro, and you're doing your deadlifts and you come up and brush up against this legging, you're gonna pill. It's just gonna happen. Now, they're super opposite of the Amplify. You don't have any built-in scrunch, no internal scrunch, nothing helping you out here. So overall, I would give it more of a wedgy fit, as I like to say. It hugs the lower part of the glutes, but then doesn't really do a whole lot for the upper part. So it looks halfway decent on the glutes, but not as intense as the Amplify would make your glutes look. Still very thankful they added in that V seam, okay? If it's not seamless, and you add seams, make it count, make it work for me, thanks. Over here on the front, you do have some seam contour going right down the band, which actually wraps around your legs, gives a nice silhouette look. I actually like this. This to me gives it some movement, gives it some sporty feels. I also like how it flows with the V seam on the back. Feel like the placement of the seams were spot on for this. Very comfortable, not feeling the seams run down my legs. So I think they did a great job in the comfort department. I love that they did not add a seam to the top band. There's no front seam. Great. You have tonal logos throughout this entire collection. Just throwing that out there. It's barely their branding. That's what I like to call it. I did feel like throughout my workout, every once in a while I was pulling these up. Not that they were actively sliding, but where I like them to sit, I did feel like from time to time I was pulling them up a little bit. I really wouldn't suggest running in these because then I would think they naturally they would start to slip a little bit. Even the elliptical and Stairmaster and things like that. This I could see with a pair of really cute sneakers going out for a brisk walk. This would be comfortable for all day wear. They're semi-insulating, okay? They're still thin, breathable, but not 
super thin. Like the Paragon leggings I just reviewed, that air silk fabric, like paper thin. This is definitely thicker than the Amplify. I'm pretty sure like everything's thicker than the Amplify though because the Amplify is more like a stocking. Length is a little bit long. I did do the sweat test. It's a little bit soggy. You can see it a bit because of this buttery fabric. Forget what you know about the Amplify. Everybody's biggest take on the Amplify is like, it's completely sheer. We finally have Alphalete leggings that are pretty damn squat proof, even in this light sand color. I purposely picked these two colors not only because they were my favorite from the last launch, but because one's dark and one's light. I needed some variety to share with you. Fun fact, I actually grabbed a small any medium in the sand because according to the brief when I was making my selects, they said it could run snug. I wasn't sure, so I ordered one of each. I would definitely stick with my two size small. I would not size up in this, one bit. There's extra material behind the knees, a little loose. No thanks. If in between, there's such a nice amount of stretch, it's a glove body fit, you could get away with sizing down, especially if you prefer a bit more compression. Sizing up, that's your call, but no, I would not. Really nice to see Alphalete coming out with a more casual legging. I do feel like this took the place of their Alpha Lux. I liked it a lot, it just slipped a little too much. I was constantly pulling that one up. This is not nearly that bad. I think they did a good job on this legging overall. As long as you're mindful of what this material is like and you don't use it for the wrong reasons, then I think you would really like this legging. Now let's talk about the flare pant. I have it in the color sand. Now this is exactly like the legging, just flare version. The flares are not overly big, but they're not tiny boot cut neither. They actually said, I believe it was on, no, it was actually on the website where they said they strongly suggest sizing up. I'ma be a contrarian. <laughs> I don't think you need to size up in these. I wouldn't, but that's just me. I think these are perfectly true to size. These fit similar to the legging, maybe ever so slightly more compressive, but nothing too noticeable for me. Nothing where I was like, wow, this fits so much tighter. If you're in between, you could get away with sizing up if you prefer a little less compression. The only issue you might have is you could have extra material behind the knees. That's where material, especially on flares, loves to gather. Now, with these, I did feel like I had a little bit of that. I think these flares Flares are really flattering and cute. And what I love most about them is that I finally have a flare that isn't too long on me. Do you understand the struggle that a five foot three year has with finding flares that don't drag on the floor? Do you even understand it? Not every brand comes out with a petite flare. Not saying these are petite, but they're working for me when I wear chunky sneakers. That's the key word. I were to be wearing really low flat sneakers or just flats in general, I think these are touching the ground. I wore my chunky Nikes with these. They just made it and that made me so happy. For me, if it came down to it, if I can only get one, would I pick the flares or the leggings? I think the flares, only because it's just rare. This length is rare for me, so I gotta get it while it's hot. Two thumbs up on these flares. Great job, guys. Bando update, you ready? It's slowly lipping down, as you can see. You can see the little gel liner here. It's slowly starting to lip. Let's quickly touch base on these shorts. Now, I did size up to a medium. Again, when I was making the selects, I had no idea. The way Alphalete was wording it, it was like, look, you might wanna size up. That's why I grabbed multiples of things and I sized up in the shorts, especially because I tend to do that with tight fit shorts. Sometimes I'll size up if I feel like it's necessary. I liked the medium in these shorts. I felt zero cinch. I mean, these really fit as perfectly as five inch shorts could fit on me. So even though I sized up, I didn't see any bunching of material, no wrinkling. I did, however, experience that in the medium leggings, mostly because there's just naturally more material. You're gonna see some bunching around the knee Knees, behind the knees. Here, it only goes five inches. That's what she said. <sighs> So right here is where it just fit perfectly. So I'm sticking with a small in the legging and a medium in the shorts. Also want to note that there was no roll up either. It's very rare for me to find zero cinch shorts that don't roll. Usually it's one or the other. If it doesn't cinch, it rolls. If it rolls, it doesn't cinch. It's a rock and a hard place for me when it comes to tight fit shorts, but these do both and I'm really grateful for that. We have three bras in this collection. The strappy bra, the sculpt bra, this way, and the bandeau. For these three bras, they really will only work for really small chests. They are naturally meant for that. It even says it on the brief, on the site, everywhere. Me, I feel like I'm like on the verge of like not being able to wear it, but it's all right, kinda. 
Okay, let's start with the strappy bra. So I have it in the color sand. So with the strappy bra, you have obviously a ton of straps on the back. It is adjustable, nice stretchy straps, no removable bra pads, zero option to insert. This is double lined, so it's okay. Some materials are just so thick that you're good. This is on the brim of, it just isn't thick enough. You're gonna see something. So we have the classic scoop neckline. Right at the bottom, you have these little tiny seams. It is curved at the bottom. You see that slight curve? I'm seeing this design everywhere, that curved look, just to highlight the underbust. So overall, this super low support, it's noticeable. There's not a whole lot of room for your boobs, so I almost feel like I'm spilling out of the top. It is very flattering. It makes the boobs look great, but when it comes to actual functionality, I do have to be mindful of the exercises I do, even doing overhead presses, going up above my head. I have to be careful not to spill out on the bottom. Over time, yes, I saw my boobies slowly making their way down. These straps kept wanting to just roll roll around on my shoulders, so I had to constantly adjust it. If you want a more straightforward bra, check out the Sculpt bra. There's no adjustments on this. You do have thicker straps, no crisscrossing, nice subtle V-cut neckline. It is double lined just like the other bra, no bra pads and no option to insert. So again, super low support. I found this to be very flattering, good for low impact movements, but again, not a bra I'm looking to jump around in or run in. I have to be mindful when it comes to pull downs for the under boob, and I have to be mindful of deadlifts for the upper boob. When it comes to sizing in these two bras, very true to size. If in between though, I would probably size up. One, because the strappy bra, if I size down, I wouldn't want the straps to dig into my back. Number two, in this sculpt bra, if I were to size down, I would feel like I'm spilling over a little bit on the bra. So if you have larger breasts and you're in between, possibly size up. If you have really small breasts and you're in between, then and only then would I suggest possibly sizing down, but that's only if you're in between. Stick to your true size in these bras. I think you'll be okay. Okay, now we are here to talk about the bandeau. Are you ready? I'm not gonna lie. When I first saw this collection, I was obsessed with this look. I was like, oh my God, I need that. This bandeau in the front actually rises up. As you can see, it's almost like a little horizon on your chest. And then it swoops down in the back here. There is a little thin gel lining, gripper I like to call it. Grips all the way around, not to the back, not in this back band but just on the horizon part right here to help prevent it from slipping. I'm wearing this throughout the whole video on purpose. It's definitely rolling on me. It's rolling. When I worked out in this, it didn't fall down. Okay, granted, it did not fall down. However, it does slowly start to sag where I'm like, okay, oh, there's not a whole lot of space for your boobs. So if you pull it up too much, boom, then you have some under boob here. Small boobies only, I can't even tell you that enough. <laughs> this goes without say, but there's no bra pads and no option to insert. They didn't do that with any of the bras. They said no. No. Keep it natural, ladies. They want to do all natural today. It is double lined, just like the rest of the bras. So there's a ton of similarities in all three of these bras, just different designs, just different styles. And do keep in mind, all of these bras have the same exact material as the leggings. So everything you saw so far, same buttery soft material. This is just not functional at all. The bandeau, like forget it. Speaking of shrug, let's talk about this for a second. True size small, a little bit of wrinkle here, a little right here if you're in between between possibly size down. You do have thumb holes. I'm happy to see that. When I saw I was like putting it on, I was like, hell yeah. The cut, okay, it's obviously a shrug, a shrug. Let me tell you something. I don't think I'll ever get used to shrugs. When I'm putting it on and I'm fully aware that it's a freaking shrug, I still was like feeling around for the rest of the material to pull down. It's like a phantom limb. You know it's not there, but it feels like it is. But what I do love about shrugs, airing out those pits. Woo, woo. Lift them up, you're like, oh my God, I look naked right now <laughs> with this bandeau, come on. Now let's talk about a boxy crop cotton based. I really liked the big branding on this. I like that they went with this very cream color against the cashmere. I just, I don't know, there's just something about this top. So I paired it with the cashmere shorts and leggings, super beautiful. Boxy crop, you can absolutely size down in if you wanted to. I like my true size small because it's just nice and oversized. Like I said, this is cotton based, so not like the rest of the materials that you just saw. It does go high to low, so it's a little higher in the front, longer in the back. Nice thick neckline. Athletes really known for their 
thick necklines. Right at the tail end of the logo, it does say proud but never satisfied. That's embroidered in. So that's actually stitched in where the rest of this is printed. Okay guys, what are your thoughts on the new Alphalete Aura collection? Please comment down below. I would love to know. If you already got your hands on it, let us know down below how it go for you. And if there's anything I didn't touch base on in this review, please let me know. I'd be happy to answer for you. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned. We have a ton of new Gymshark coming your way. Also going to be talking about some Black Friday. It's here before you know it. So definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Love you guys so much and I'll catch you in my next video.